right, how we doing, my friendly folks of YouTube, all over the world? Didn't see my breath there, but it's cold. It's actually degree-wise colder than it was yesterday. It's 23 degrees right now. Not even kidding. There's frost on the ground. Sun's coming up, so it's kind of warming up. All right, I got to take this stuff out. But it's trash day. And we're back for another day of treasure hunting. I know I definitely didn't take this stuff out. This is from the auction. I'll probably cut that a little more. Get paid a little bit more money for copper, so you might as well just take out the copper where it's exposed. Um, this is the trash from the warehouse. I have to throw away, but I guess we'll grab uh, grab this. Hopefully this thing is not frozen with water, or should I say water inside is not frozen. Because if it is, this thing's going to weigh a lot more than I think. Well, if it has water in there, regardless if it's frozen or not, it's still going to weigh a lot. cold is outside the water inside doesn't seem frozen that's yeah, so sloshing around they must have put like antifreeze in that water or something it's the uh, merchandiser I think just putting merchandise inside the uh, mailbox things. I think that's who it is. I don't know. Anyway, welcome back everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. It's trash day. Let's find some treasure besides just a water tank. Because that's not that fun and exciting. But it's cold. It's winter. It might as well be winter. Maybe it's not. People got pumpkins out. We're still not winter. Anyway, let's find treasure, make it a fun adventure, and see what today has in store. Dogs barking. I guess I'm going to have to throw this stuff. All right, enough. I guess I'm going to have to throw this stuff on top of this stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's going to have to be the move. Uh, now you know I can move this probably in the back. Those will come out shortly but when those come out this thing's just gonna keep bouncing back and forth like good old pinball or uh pinball pinball what was the game that everyone pong there you go it's got like walnuts in it and stuff oh should probably put you guys down here should also be wearing my chest mount but it's the morning shift Ideally, in the next clip, all this other stuff will be out of here. The steel will still be in here, but this is stuff that I grabbed yesterday at that auction. So, I think that's all like my better metal that I grabbed there. I don't know how I'm going to turn around here. Guess I just wing it into the yard. Oh, I see a bundle of fun down there. All right, well, now made it to about noon. What's going on with this thing? I don't have a clue. I think I did mention that I was taking stuff out, and guess what? I didn't take stuff out. 
it's funny how, like I say, I think I mentioned it, although it was probably like the last clip. That was actually from about four and a half hours ago. So it might have been something that was 30 seconds ago on a video, but in my life, it's been a long time. weather is playing tricks on me. I kind of have a, I don't know if it's a weather headache, but you get it a lot when it almost looks like it goes onto your, uh, your house. It's for your oil tank. I might be wrong with that. Your heating oil. I think I might have a headache just from the weather, from the hot to cold to hot to cold. Feeling a little lightheaded. Maybe I didn't drink enough water. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Maybe I need to take a break. I don't know what I need to do. Maybe have a Tylenol, an Advil. Maybe iced coffee's doing it. Who knows? As long as I don't peel over and this video doesn't come out, I think I'll be all right. There are so many piles of leaves. Piles over there, piles over there, another pile on the left two down the road there's piles everywhere pile over here one on the other side of this road I, uh, I really hope they come by and pick up leaves and I'm wondering I live out in the country so I don't really have these ordeals I wonder if they come by twice a year three times a year or should I say three times a season or do they only come by once a season Not all leaves fall at the same time, but it'd be a lot of uh, a lot of money invested into picking up these leaves. And with a little small one right there. All right, I'm ready. Oh. That was interesting. Already out, right? That's got water in it too. All right, now we're doing this game again. Everyone just walks in the middle of the road. Come on, bud. This guy. Don't even... There's 100% a sidewalk over here on the left. 100% is there. Sometimes I feel like I nag a lot, but I'd probably driven, I don't know how long that road is around. It's probably about a mile. And I saw about six or seven people not using the sidewalk. I just don't understand how you pay all this money and replacing all this stuff and infrastructure and all these taxes, repairing, replacing, and you don't want to use it. It's mind boggling to me. I almost put this right on the road before I walked to go smack the car right in the face. Right in the face of the car. That's gonna roll around. I'll be fun to listen to. All right, let's see what we're working with on this corner. Feels kind of weird saying that, but it is what it is. Uh, cabinet. Ooh. Well, I think it's. Is it a shelf or is it a cabinet? I don't know. Could probably be either, right? That's interesting. It's dovetailed. 
You see that? Maybe that one's new. Like, that's dovetail, but it's not, like, tail. And this side has two, I don't know if you call those female adapters. I don't know where makeup works. Oh, that's probably the back for it. Wait, what? I am so confused. new the other one what the heck do I do with this it looks more like a cabinet which is why I don't like it or I mean it looks too much like uh, yeah like a cabinet you hang up it's probably easier just to Like, do I want to pick it up and then save it till next year to sell for five dollars? You know, it's one of those things. I am not in the mood to do that. <sighs> but guess what? I guess I will. Yes, I will. This kind of a uh, pillar thing is kind of neat. Shame there's only one. The other jug of stuff, antifreeze, has like an eighth of a bottle. This one's still brand new, never opened. Got a lot of people at the, the market that buy this stuff. This stuff isn't cheap, you know? A little tag here, which looks like it's probably an antique tag, like an antique store. Ooh, let's hope this thing doesn't get punctured. Well, play the uh, no, we don't want to put it over here. Put it over there. All right, so I grabbed that. I don't think it's really life or death, but I know the comment section would have been hectic if I had left it. So we grabbed it. My needles are falling. Oh, I don't really have much space back here. Wow, well, these are ridiculously heavy and large. This item is on the left that I can see it has a sign on which probably says free uh, just like a dresser or something and it does say free as I have mentioned I haven't really seen a lot of bicycles I don't know it's just during the summer I guess I don't see them as much as I thought I would Some odd little items here Let's take the mongoose that's missing a seat Two flat tires. One's got a, I don't know if that's a bent wheel or what, but no, the tires are falling off the wheel. That will do it. That will do it. Spreader's a little janky, but it might be salvageable. Looks like they probably did use it for salt. You can see how things have rusted up on the inside. Probably like to go out on a limb and say it's probably not good. For all the gear mechanisms. Really, oh, I hear a kerosene in there. 
Now, what the heck? Somebody did suggest something. Can't remember what someone suggested with the kerosene. Someone left a comment in it. It was something that was actually a, a good suggestion. It's not like every comment is not a good suggestion, but it was something I was like, wow, I never thought of that. And that sounds like an excellent idea. So now I have to go back and see what it was. All right, well, I made it. Oh, geez. Well, good thing I didn't move anything or take this or use this door in a while. I guess I didn't. Oh. This thing don't break. There we go. Get propped up there. Now I get to throw it into the warehouse and look at it for the next six months or so. Um, but it will sell. That's the only issue. Is like I know that will sell, and it's like I don't want to leave like five or ten dollars on the road. I mean, I can just I guess I can just pack my warehouse better, but that's a whole ordeal in itself. This fall, this winter has been so busy. I was at the auction yesterday. And I was talking to a guy, and I was like, where have you been? You haven't been at any of these sales recently. He's like, I've been so busy with fall cleanup, and I just finished weed whacking the pond two days ago. Um, I still have to weed whack around the buildings, around the house, the driveway, uh, but that was such a long process, and I went through so much trimmer line, I can't tell you. It, it was, It's more brush clearing more than weed whacking, and brush clearing with a weed whacker, just holding it down for like an hour straight, is not exactly enjoyable. But it's done, thankfully. If I got my act together, I'd regrade the pond so I don't have to weed whack as much. But that will never happen. Just like probably fixing the warehouse, that will never happen. But I hopefully will still be making videos. So I still plan on making videos for the rest of this year, hopefully into next year. We're adding more episodes to the playlist of trash picking, just like we found a ton of stuff today. Filled the van, so to speak. I got some cool things. I want to see if that salt sprayer seems to uh, can get fixed. Or I want to see if the salt sprayer still works. It seems a little bit janky. A lot of those things that have the rotators um, or rotating parts always get a little messed up. Yesterday, there was a leaf catcher that I had for a while. And I eventually just didn't like it because it just is a grass catcher, a leaf catcher. You pull behind behind a tractor, it would just get filled up in a matter of like 50 feet or 100 feet. So I was like, this is stupid. So I got rid of it, and now I really wish I would have had it um, because there's been times where I'm just like, I'd rather just pick up leaves or grass that way rather than just keep running over with the lawnmower. Um, but the parts were all screwed up, similar to that salt spur. So that's the things with finding things in the trash. You don't know what our people use things as, but today was a fun day. We got a a lot of cool things. I didn't realize this thing was standing up. We got a lot of cool things. It's been a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this treasure hunt. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more trash picking adventures just like this. Hopefully to fill the van in future episodes. Catch you guys next time for next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.